Hi guys in YouTube land. I am talking to you guys on a rainy day and unfortunately I don't have the sunlight to help me out with this video but I figure this video would kind of be nice on the first day of October and I'm using Molly's backdrop and I have my dolls in front of a nice autumn scene near a window and so this window is again a part of Molly's backdrop and you can see that the fall the leaves have all fallen off of the trees so you can tell that it's kind of late in the season while right now we're at the beginning of the fall season so since we're at the beginning of the fall season I wanted to show you guys some nice Thanksgiving cards that I was able to pick out uh, for some of my dolls. I've noticed that I always feel better when I have cards uh, for my dolls picked out. And so these dolls are ra these dolls, these cards are rather exp inexpensive. And I always love artistic expression, especially when they're affiliated and associated with kind words. So um, cards usually bring out the best feelings in people, uh, words that they cannot say themselves. I feel like cards express. So with this particular card, it has like a nice pie on a doily with a nice tea kettle. And it says Happy Thanksgiving with a little pumpkin. And I just thought that that was appropriate since we're only a couple of weeks away from Thanksgiving. It, it goes by really fast and then we're into the holiday season and so then um and the reason i got this card is because american girl and some of my doll sets have or feature pies and have pies in them so i remember a couple years ago probably four or five years ago or even six that american girl made a pumpkin pie set and i remember buying that around this time of year which was the fall and um, this one, this little card, whoops, and they all come crumbling down. This little card is a reminder of how one of my favorite movies is The Little Prince. And it's the one with Gene Wilder. And I love foxes. And of course, there's a fox in The Little Prince. And he's a very wise character. And so I just love anything that has foxes and little hedgehogs from one of the Parisian cartoons, Emily, um, that they used to show on Nickelodeon when I was a kid. So uh, this card just reminded me of how sometimes the sweetest little children books have the greatest illustrations of things that we sometimes miss. So um, getting back to my dolls, I wanted to show my doll, Steve or Steven, who is a Truly Me number 75 in his original meat outfit and some accessories. And his book bag has that burnt orange fall color in it. So it's plaid and I really liked it for the fall season. So I had him in that. And this is my beautiful Truly Me doll with the long curly hair with the Sonali face mold. And she is wearing a beautiful chevron pattern jack-o'-lantern bow clip in her hair with some extra hair accessories to complement her long beautiful black ebony curls or ringlets she has little tight ringlets in her hair and um, her name is Odessa Vernice so I have my wonderful Steven doll and I have Odessa Vernice and they are going to model the latest an American Girl finds at the store American Girl Janie and Jack outfits. So one of the outfits is this beautiful boys outfit, the tartan plaid outfit. And the other outfit is a beautiful girls outfit, complete outfit. And it's wrapped in rose party dress or wrapped in roses party dress. So that sounds more appropriate. And I wanted to get these two outfits just because I have very few boy holiday outfits. 
even though every year that they offered it, I bought it. Um, I always love the fact that they started selling um, American Girl boy dolls. And so the first year they offered the boy outfit, I jumped on top of it because I just thought, okay, when do they ever really make a whole lot of boys outfits uh, since they retired the Bitty Babies or the Bitty Twins? I'm sorry, Bitty Baby is still available. And the girl outfit, I just really wanted a set because it's very hard nowadays to find a whole set for these dolls that include shoes and, and the dress and the headband or some kind of head wrap. So I really, really wanted to take advantage of these two outfits. So these are my models and I'll show you guys how they look. Okay, so here we go. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that the tissue paper is a little bit different. Um, it has little like snowflakes, like melted, almost like melted snow on it while it says American Girl. And look how vibrant the colors are, almost like poppies. Um, so poppies the flower. And so look, beautiful detail around the neck. And then the print is beautiful. It's like a velvet-like band or ribbon around the waist. It has pleats. And for some reason I was thinking that it would have multiple layers, but it doesn't. Like I thought it would have tulle underneath, but there's no tulle underneath. But the pleats are really, really, really pretty. Um, I like the green in the dress as well on the petals of the flowers. And I like how they have this little small little flower right here to complement the roses and the red flowers. And it's really thick material. So that kind of makes up for the fact that it doesn't have any additional tool on the bottom. It's also a sleeveless dress, which makes it fun to accessorize like with a coat or some kind of shrug. Um, I like the shoes. They're like a, a velvet kind of texture. It's like a velvet velour texture almost. And the bow is really nice. In the past, American Girl would have like these flimsy like bows on the shoes. Uh, but this bow is really nice. It stays right in place. Uh, the shoes don't have that obnoxious uh, kitty heel. So I like that they're just flats. Not completely uh, flat. They do have a little bit of uh, an incline, like a, a heel, but not like a kitty flat. I like that this is velour. This is the purse. And it is a working purse. It does open with Velcro. And um, it comes with like a headband. And I don't know if this is plastic or if it's velour, so I have to open it up. But it does have a flower on it. And I'm not a big fan of flowers on headbands, like, you know, the ones that just stick out. I much rather, I, I prefer a bow but I can understand why they didn't do like a red bow. I just kind of feel like a red bow on a headband is kind of like overdone in the doll world. So, um, and I like the fact that they still give you these so that you can keep the um, fabrics dry. So that is silica. Uh, that's a mineral that's made to keep all fabric dry. Uh, you study things like that in chemistry. So that's the reason I know what the function of that is uh, because silica does that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this outfit on Odessa Vernice and she is going to look gorgeous in it, I believe. Okay, so this is Odessa Vernice and she looks amazing in this outfit. I love the high-waisted neck and I love the ruffles around it or how it's cinched. It looks almost as pretty as one of those uh, 1960 garden party dresses um, because I just kind of feel like the 1940s, 50s, and 60s were known to have these beautiful floral prints. And I love that the print goes all the way around the dress. 
So even though this whole set with the purse, the beautiful shoes, and the headband, and I think I said the dress already, but this whole set is $42 and you get all these pieces. So I love the concept of the mix and match because again, you can mix it and match it over the years with other American girl clothing and accessories. But I love to get pieces like this that are complete because I feel like these pieces are a throwback to um, Barbie, the 1960 vintage Barbie sets when their clothing was just amazing. It almost looked like designer clothes on a Barbie. So a lot of collectors will collect Barbie for that reason. Um, so I like that Mattel is going back to its Barbie roots with the 18 inch dolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this lovely holiday outfit is going to look on my Steven doll. Okay, when you open the boy's outfit, it's the same deal with the tissue paper. You see this snow-like design. And there it is. So you have the loafers. They look really nice. I like the shirt. It's a nice plain collar shirt with long sleeves. And I like the color blue. It's like a gray blue. The vest is really nice. It's like a velour color with working buttons. There is no Velcro. So it's velour on front, in the front. Um, and the bow tie is on the bottom, but these are the plaid pants and everything is separate. So it looks really nice. I can't wait to see this on my boy doll. And one last thing, guys, it does come with navy blue socks. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you guys this outfit with just the pants loafers and the shirt with the bow tie just to show you guys how cute the bow tie looks on the doll alone against the blue shirt so you could just have this as an outfit by itself without the vest and so a lot of people are trying to see how to break this outfit up so that they can get more use out of the pants and the shirt and the bow tie alone. But um, I think it would have looked over the top with some cute suspenders. But then again, that's just me. So if you do have suspenders in your collection from American Girl, uh, this would be a good time to use it with this outfit. All right, let's go ahead and see how it looks with the vest. All right, so this is the complete outfit on the boy doll, and he looks adorable. Oh my gosh, if I were to use the word adorbs ever in life, this would be the right time to use it. And for the team that created this boy outfit alone for American Girl, they deserve a parade with all the fanfare. <laughs> Because this outfit is the cutest outfit that I think I've seen in decades from American Girl. Um, the only other time that I've seen an outfit like this for a boy doll was the Biddy Twins. And that was like almost over probably 20 years ago. And nowadays, if you were to wait to buy this outfit and this outfit ended up on the secondhand market it would probably be treated just like the boy doll outfit for the Biddy Twin collection that had the vest and the shirt and the bow tie and the pants and the loafers and the socks. Some ruthless person would break this whole outfit up, even though this outfit comes together in one box, in one set. Um, some ruthless person, and I can just see it, will charge an arm and a leg for the bow tie the shirt alone, the vest, the pants, the loafers, and the socks. 
Um, so don't wait on this outfit, guys, just because American Girl is having so much fun with their latest boy dolls that I think they just had it in mind to create a boy outfit for the holiday season. But we have gone some holiday seasons without boy outfits. So um, if you have this outfit in mind to get, um, go ahead and get it as soon as you can, or at least ask for it on your wish list uh, for Christmas, Hanukkah, or uh, a birthday gift. But uh, definitely do not wait on these outfits.